Hey everybody, we are back with a new edition of Weather for Weather Geeks here on Thursday evening from the home office. Social distancing, of course, uh, continuing, and this is going to be the situation we're in for some time, so I'm minimizing my time uh, in, uh, in, in our downtown studios as much as possible, and thankfully I have a pretty nice setup here at home to uh, do some uh, videos, and uh, oftentimes I do these in the mornings, but uh, lately when I can, I'm doing this video from home in the evenings. This is the Valley's most in-depth forecast, and we're going to focus on the next few days and talk a little bit about the uh, weekend and beyond. What a day today, a gorgeous looking day. Now, it was chilly, especially when you factored in the wind, but great looking day today. Time lapse from Columbiana shows the crystal clear skies at sunrise and later in the day as well. It was uh, sometimes what pilots call severe clear out there today. Not a cloud in the sky for a lot of the day. A few wispy cumulus clouds was about it. 55 was our high today. Got a little warmer than expected. With the atmosphere being very well mixed today, uh, we were able to uh, get uh, temperatures a little above what a lot of the modeling was showing. I think tomorrow the atmosphere will not be as well mixed, won't be as breezy tomorrow, and as a result tomorrow probably will not be warmer than today. may even be a degree or two cooler than today, but it may feel better tomorrow because of the lack of a breeze. Mentioned uh, the breeze. Uh, it was definitely noticeable as we got into the afternoon today, gusting at the airport up to 30 miles per hour at noon, and those gusts continue to be consistently above 20 miles per hour through the rest of the afternoon uh, today. The wind is diminishing as we speak this evening. Great day to check out the low orbiting high res satellite picture today. This is a satellite that, as I mentioned, is low orbiting and it provides great views of Lake Erie, Northeast Ohio, Northwest PA on these crystal clear days. There's Mosquito Lake, Pima Tuning. You have to look real carefully, um, but if you, if you do look carefully, you can tell that the, the landscape is starting to green up. This satellite image a couple of weeks ago was just as brown as it gets. But again, you gotta look a little bit carefully, but uh, things are starting to green up across our region. You definitely notice it now that a lot of things are starting to bloom and the grass is getting greener, the buds are budding, and uh, uh, spring is definitely in the air across our region, that is, uh, that is for sure. Weather uh, quiet today, quiet tonight. Uh, this system is out of our hair now and we've got a strong cold front out across the middle of the country where yes, there is some snow falling across parts of the Northern Plains. And this is a real sharp cold front. Look at the temperature change. You go from 72 in Tulsa to 37 in Dodge City, 14 in Rapid City. Now this looks pretty intimidating, right? This is coming east, right? Are we gonna see a similar change around here? No, this front's really gonna run out of gas by the time it moves through the uh, Great Lakes region this weekend. So very little temperature change for us. In fact, once this front technically crosses our region, It'll be a little bit warmer on Monday than on Sunday because I think we're going to see some sunshine on Monday, while Sunday will be a fairly cloudy day with a couple of showers. All right, uh, for evening sky watchers, uh, check out bright Venus this evening in the western sky. It's the brightest object in the night sky aside from the uh, moon. For early risers and mostly before 6.30 a.m., check out three planets in the southeast sky, Mars and Saturn, much like they were this morning, are pretty close to one another and then just a little bit farther away to the right is Jupiter so three pretty bright objects pretty close together in the southeast sky actually three planets best chance to check this out is before 630 when it starts to get a little bit light outside Mars and Saturn uh, tend to disappear pretty quickly while Jupiter stays in the sky just a little bit longer tomorrow is going to look just like today the sun's going to be shining it's not going to be as breezy temperature is very similar to today Good things continue as we uh, kick off the weekend in the wake of this warm front. We'll probably sneak into the lower 60s on Saturday, followed by our frontal passage on Sunday, bringing us a chance for a few showers. I don't think this is a rainy day Sunday, but there can be some showers here and there, maybe even primarily weighted towards the morning hours. If uh, some of our faster models are right, then uh, we may get away with a mostly dry afternoon Sunday. Uh, low confidence on that at this point, but uh, just plan on the possibility of a couple of showers as we wrap up the weekend on Sunday. Uh, I mentioned uh, the uh, warm-up coming behind our front on Monday and actually will be well above average Monday, Tuesday, and into Wednesday as well. And then a stronger cold front comes through. And this looks like a pretty distinct pattern change that may last a little while. You know, you, you've heard my spiel if you've been watching Weather Geeks lately about the long-range cool being advertised by the models tending to be fool's gold in recent months. 
Um, but I do think it is going to cool down at the end of next week. How much staying power this has uh, remains to be seen. Some of the modeling suggests it stays pretty cool well past Easter. I don't believe that when I see it at this point. But I think at least through the end of next week and into the Easter holiday weekend, it is likely to be somewhat cooler than average across our region. I think we'll see a lot of days with highs in the, in the 50s and even upper 40s. And you see that reflected on the CPC Climate Prediction Center 8 to 14 day outlook showing the warmth getting squashed down into the Gulf Coast region. A lot of the Midwest, the Great Lakes region, the Ohio Valley, the Northeast will be at least somewhat cooler than average as we head towards the end of next week through the Easter holiday weekend. And then, you know, as I said, beyond that, we'll see what happens. Uh, I would, uh, if I were a betting man, I would not to bet on cooler than average weather lasting super long. It just doesn't seem to want to do that of late, no matter what the models show uh, two or three weeks from right now. All right, thanks for watching tonight's Weather for Weather Geeks. I appreciate your viewership as always. Have a good rest of your Thursday night, and I'll see you back here on Friday.